Hello friends, welcome to my Fleet Camp review. Fleet Camp is a project management tool that helps teams to collaborate effectively and complete projects easily. With Fleet Camp, you can customize your team's platform to make sure you have got tools you need without the clutter of any unnecessary features. So now I am inside the simple dashboard of Fleet Camp, and here I will show you one small demo. But before going into the demo, I like to mention that one link is given in the video description below, and that is the AppSumo lifetime deal. One AppSumo lifetime deal is going on, and price is $59 only. And 59 reviews are there and almost all the reviews are five star reviews and if you come below you can know more about the tool best for the product designers project managers small businesses you can integrate with google calendar google drive outlook slack zapier and alternative to asana clickup and monday.com and if you come below you can know more about the features and benefits of the product so these are the deal terms and conditions and these are the feature details and also they are providing 60 days money back guarantee if you don't like the product for any reason you can return it back and they will refund your money within 60 days of your purchase and some licensed tires are also there up to 10 cores are there so you can check all the features from here and you can go as per your requirement now you can come back to the simple dashboard and here i'll provide you a small demo so this is the dashboard and from here you can see your created projects so I have created two projects here. One is general digital campaign and another one is test campaign. And also you can see your work from here and also you can add tasks inside your project from here add task section directly from the dashboard. And these are the agenda and you can filter your agenda from here. And also something is there like customize. You can customize few things like combine current upcoming and assign task. So you can on off these things. So items in progress on top if you want to see these things inside your dashboard you can on this so it will be visible and show unassigned items also you can see that will be visible inside your dashboard ignore start date when shorting ignore items older than one year so you can on off this thing as per your needs and now come to the manage system here you get templates so lot of templates you will find and also you can create your own template from here so these are the templates like creative design engineering product finance accounting hr also while creating one new project you can see all these templates from here and also global teams and from here you can create your own team just give one name of your team and description and select user and from here you can create your own team now again come back and if you want to add team members inside your team then you can invite them first just you need to put the email address and you can invite team members here and also come to the global teams global modules here and global modules you will get the white label multiple assignments custom stacks also you can on off these things and custom field task grant charts field edit sub task dropbox will get here and custom fields and status and also you can create your custom field and custom status i'll show you later on so these are some important settings are also there come to the home again and also you can create a new project from here so i'll create a new project first so click on new project you can create a new project from the scratch from the existing project just copy the existing project and from the template so i want to create a new project by using a template so from project template and here i'll find out a lot of templates on creative design engineering and product finance and accounting hr and recruiting it marketing operations there are a lot of templates are available here inside the creative design you'll find out 21 templates so these are the 21 templates are there so you can choose any templates maybe logo design so click on this three dot and create project from the template and also you can view the template so i want to create also if you want you can view the template from here so back i want to create a template directly so creative design and click on logo design and from here we can create create project from template so here project name is logo design general project and you can give the project description here and also you can put a project color and create the project so this is easy to create one new project your you will receive an email containing a link to your newly created project so come to the home again yes the new project is now visible here logo design this is the project so click on logo design here and here you will get the task 
so these are the tasks inside the logo design and uh, that means predefined tasks are already there but if you don't want this task you can delete this task from here just uh, come to any one task here and click on this three dot and delete you can directly delete the task so you can do customization inside your project and you can arrange everything so click on this three dot here and you can add task from here and also you can edit the list so this is the list and inside the list these tasks are there so you can edit the list first so click on this three dot and edit list from here so here i want to change the list logo list one so this is my first list and also you can put some description and save from here if you want to create a new list you can also do that just click on this three dot and come to the manage list section so click on manage list here add list from here logo list two so this is our new list put a description here and create done so i have now two list logo list two and logo list one so if you want to add some task just hit on add task here and you can create your task i want to create one task inside the list two so add task from here maybe logo design for us client so this is our task and from here you can assign the task but inside the team i am only one person here because i have not invited anyone so i'll assign this to myself but whenever i will invite team members i can see all the team members here and i can assign the task to anyone so i will assign myself here and also we can set a due date maybe 15th of october is the due date and full form so click on full form and uh, here you can give some description of the task and also you can click the start date so maybe today is the start date and also inside the progress section you can just uh, no progress because just now we have started the task that is no progress and priority that is maybe high priority one and create so this is the way you can create your task and also few things are there followers create sub task attachments recurring if it is a recurring task just on this one and you can choose daily repeat every day and after seven days every day and also you can pick weekly if it is a weekly task just it will appear on every week maybe monday on every week the task will be repeated so we can choose monday from here click here ends that may be never ending you just click on never ending project and also after seven days or after 10 days you can choose the date from here maybe after 15 days the task will be end and after on particular date also you can put just 31st of october it will be end and also you can add the custom fields from here so create and add another so you can create another task from here uh, but i don't want to create another task so i have created one task here so this is the way you can create one task inside the Fit camp platform first you need to create the list and inside the list you can create your task now i will create one sub task here so how exactly you can create the sub task just click on this and from here you can add sub task add sub task just click here and here we can give a name task list to it is okay and sub task of us client and here we can give a name of the sub task so title so title is attractive design this is my sub task and also i need to put some description here so put the description here and also we can directly create from here and if we want to create another sub task just create and add another so click here and also you can create another sub task from here normal design so this is how you can create the sub task also so paste it here and create so i have created two sub tasks here and also you can assign the sub task just click here 
and it is on progress no progress or completed if it is in progress we just click on progress and if it is completed we can hit on completed so this is easy and also few more things are there we can just uh, edit the subtask from here just click on edit and here we can put the start date due date priority follow us attachment if it is recurring one also you can do that so this is the way we can create the task and subtask easily and if you don't want this task just hit on this three dot and delete the task will be deleted so this is easy and also i don't want this one just delete this from here and delete it and now come to the calendar section so click on calendar and from here also directly you can create the task by hitting on any particular date maybe i want to create one task on 10th so i can add event or task so from here you can add event or we can add the task from here so this is also very simple and now come to the file section and here you can upload any files there are no files are uploaded now so you can upload files from here so upload files or upload folder so if you want to upload folder just click here and you can upload the folder from your computer and few more things i want to discuss just hit on this gear icon here and here you can display as a list so this is the list view and also you can see this as a kanban view so this is the kanban view you can see and also you can see as a table view so click on table here and from here also you can see the task list like assignees priority start date due date comments also you can see from here and also you can input your start date and end date from here and also you can put your comment here directly and now come to the gear icon and you can see the grant view this is another one view and here you can see all the task in a tree view like this way you can expand from here and you can zoom in zoom out and also you can see the full screen mode and also highlight critical path and also there are more things like outdent and indent so click on this three dot here and also you can add task edit list archive list manage task also you can do everything inside these views and click on this gear icon also you can see the list also you can collapse the list and expand the list from here sub task you can collapse and expand from here view archive archive deleted so the notifications enable undo actions sticky header also you can add here and now come to the export import and shares click on email in and here you need to do the email in setting so i have not done the email in setting here so click on email in setting here and you can integrate with your email marketing platform so from here you can enable or disable enable in enable your create task discussion issues and user setting come to the user settings here and also custom editor buttons notification settings are there notification in app chat and this is the integration section you can integrate with your tool hit on this gear icon again and from here you can do data feed link you will get export xls file you will get from here you can get the xls files to get all your data inside the csv file or xls file copy link applied filter and also display columns skip weekends use duration data picker grand style views you can just on off these things to show and to hide and export as pdf png and export the data as a pdf or png from here and calendar setup also you can do from here and manage task list are there delete completed task so click on manage task list so you can create your new list from here so i have shown this previously shift the deadlines also you can shift the deadlines from here for any particular task you can shift the deadline for this project general digital campaign project i can shift the deadline from here and skip weekends we can on skip the weekends from here and few more things are there like custom statuses so click on custom statuses and here we can create custom statuses i have created one custom status here cst so new template you can use here not doing doing done so we can write here simple logo not doing then good one doing and done is attractive one Active logo. So this way you can create 
the template from here and also you can add more tasks so create template here new so create template from here so this is the way you can create manage your custom statuses so from where we can see that so if i click on this view this particular type of view and if i click on this gear icon here and edit project from here and we can just assign the task from here just click here and we can assign the task here so new one and cst one so you can choose from here assign the task the same way you can create the custom fields and we can see the custom fields here so click on gear icon here and you can create the custom fields here so create a new template and also you can create a template and you can assign this template inside any project so this is one simple platform but you need to spend some time to become comfortable with this platform so this is one excellent project management platform free camp one lifetime deal is going on inside the app sumo and if you want 10 percent extra discount you can go through my link that is given in the video description below so that's all about the free camp review and a small demo if you like this video hit the like button and also subscribe my youtube channel and also don't forget to hit the bell notification because whenever i publish a new video you will be get notified instantly so thank you for today bye bye